Are we gonna go buy beer? Let's go buy beer. Let's go buy beer. Let's. Good dog, you to buy some beer. Aren't you? <laughs> Mission was a success. Mm. Good boys, good guard dogs. I know they're just doing their job. Okay, I think it's now a good time to go home, have a few beers. Hey buddy, don't eat anything. And unbox some boxes. Yeah. Hello, vinyl community. Mika here, also known as Dr. October. Cheers. So, now, yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> I will tell you very briefly about my uh, very uncomfortable uh, experience with uh, UPS Hungary. So, first, I get a notification from Rough Trade Records. Okay, your package is on its way. One and a half weeks go by. I woke up to an, un, an, an, ID, an unknown color ID with very rough Hungarian that I speak, very broken. I could fi finally figure it out what it was about. They are calling that I should pay for the customs. Thanks, Brexit. The thing is that uh, due to my work status in Hungary, I'm exempt, exempted from customs. Uh, I asked them to send the appropriate documents. No worries, I have done this before in the past. I ask my employer to fill these documents and that proves that I'm exempt. In the email they sent me after this phone call, there are these clear instructions. Fill these documents and email them to this address. I'm the kind of guy who usually follows the instructions to the letter just to avoid anything, any misunderstandings, etc. The next day I'm already going to my work, uh, to the office, to bring, uh, <laughs> to get the papers. What I do is, is what they told me to, email them. Okay, so I'm at work and I scan the papers and I leave the originals at the reception desk. The next day, the response is as follows. We need the original sent to this postal address. That pissed me off a little bit, so I'm like, okay, so I have to not go to the post. To pack, to drive to the office, which is 30 kilometers, whatever that is in miles, door to door, more than 30 kilometers. Anyhow, I decided to just call the UPS rep. So, your colleague previously told me to email the papers, and now you're telling me to mail them by a post. Yes, unfortunately, yeah, I get it, but why me, the customer, need to walk the extra mile for some oversight of yours <clears throat> yeah, take your time every time it sounds like they're pulling it apart the little boxes i mean does anyone else's cat do this let me know in the comments below to how, where was I? They just repeat, yes, I'm very sorry, but you have to mail them here. And I'm asking, why didn't your colleague in the first place ask me to just mail them? Because I could have done them yesterday. Yeah. And now it's just another cat doing it. Okay. 
it's a little bit distracting, but hey, it's nowhere that they're gonna, you know, bend over and say, yes, the customer is right here. Um, okay, I, I give in. I say, okay, sure, I will go tomorrow, get the papers and mail them to you. Little Bob's coming down. You again? How many shits or pisses you have to take? <sighs> yeah, so I give in. I went and mailed the papers, the goddamn papers. And finally, the tracking site, as I'm refreshing it every day, finally they showed yesterday. Delivered. So, I got, I have three boxes to unbox. And the two of them I got yesterday, and the other one I got on Wednesday. And I just saved it for this video. Yeah? I will set up the camera angle for the unboxing and we're gonna start unboxing. Does this trigger anyone? <laughs> Alright. Let's do this thing. Thank you for your order. Alright, so. Oh yeah. I got myself, myself, uh, Mr. Bungo reissue, Disco Volante. I am always, I have always been pleased with, um, with their quality. This is a great album. Cool cover. Nice. All right, now it was already obvious. You could, oh, you could see. Kvelertok. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it well. Mer. I think it means more in Danish. Ah, uh, Norwegian, I'm sorry. Lovely gatefold. It's a Norwegian band that mixes black metal, groove metal, hard rock, um, what else? I mean, all kinds of, I mean, it's a rock, it's a fucking excellent rock band. Uh, this is a reissue. Ah, cannot see, I will take it later, but it's on purple vinyl. It's a reissue, I hate it when it's so damn stuck in these original inner sleeves. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite track on um, the Mr. Bungo album? And uh, if, you if you have heard of Kvlertak, Anyhow, this one, yeah, cool stuff, recommended. And this box, this one I ordered already last October. <laughs> yes! Jay Maskis, uh, Martin and me, Acoustic Life. Oh, that looks pixelated. I don't know if it was in the original like so, and I don't know if you can tell. Uh, it looks a little bit... I don't know, it's not so bad though. I mean, the picture is blown up, as you can see, I think, in the original. Oh, what a weird... I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Anyway, I pre-ordered this among the early birds, so there should be a pin or a pod or whatever the hell this is called. Yeah. Ah. Jay Maskey spin. Okay, I thought it would have been something a little more. Uh, I expected something. I don't know what I expected, but okay, this will do. So it's all right. Okay. Oh, it's on a yellow rack disc. I don't like grabbing, even from the edges. I know it's silly, but I don't like grabbing with my fingers here. It leaves fingerprints every time, in my opinion. Translucent yellow. It's like piss yellow. Yeah, okay. This was sold out, the original print. So it was cool that they finally reissued it. If you don't know Jay Maskis, Dinosaur Jr. frontman. Really, really unique voice, unique songwriting. It's almost like Neil Young in an alternative rock uh, way. Or, 
I don't know how to explain, but uh, yeah, it has some Neil Youngish type of things. Not, you know, the most bluegrass or those Neil Youngs, but like Neil Young from the 90s, I think. Like Ragged Glory. Ragged Glory is many times, I think, reminds me of Jay Maskis and Dinosaur Jr. stuff. <gasps> Let's go to the main thing. What I've been waiting for. So this is the second box set. So I have this one. And uh, let's see now. Let's get the second one. And this for... Let's talk more unboxing. Much, much, much better. So, Distortion, Bob Mould. Yes. Distortion 1996 to 2007. But let me show you the hype sticker. I don't know if you can read it. Maybe I will pause it there for a second. Nine LPs, including six studio albums and new and a new compilation of rarities. Blah blah blah. Exclusive screen print of the new. Anyhow, I will keep this here. Let's see what unfolds here. <laughs> All right, Bob Mold modulate. Ah, modulate screen print. Yeah, it looks like yeah. Doesn't look any like it's printed. They actually hand uh, signed this. 750 copies. This is gonna be framed. All right, let's see. Ah, oh, my favorite Bob Mold record. Yeah, let's see. And they have. Yeah. Yeah. Interestingly, this one is rip issued on one disc. Whereas the original is double. Here's the original artwork, you be the judge. Tell me in the comments which artwork do you prefer. It's on two vinyl. Great one, on two records. Maybe it sounds all right. I mean, it's not that long record that it necessarily uh, required a double LP release originally. These days especially, everything is on a double disc. Okay, modulate. I have on CD. And it's so cool now. Oh, I forgot to show the other one anyway. That's Dog and Pony Show. Come out easily, yes. They look, they look pretty, pretty, pretty. Back to modulate. Ah, looks nice. It smells almost like, you know, when you go to a, a warehouse of uh, lumber. I don't know. Wow, yeah, it does. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Long play, yeah, this is a double one. Okay, this is the one I did not have. Loud Bomb, which is of course a play on his uh, name, Bob Mold. Letters make Loud Bomb, I forgot what is that called in English. This is him experimenting more and more like club music a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's the same. Second one. All right, and here's the booklet. Got the lyrics. Yeah, looks cool. Okay, blow off. Nice little collage. Pictures, ah, moving trucks. It's a great album. Keith Cameron again. And oh, no uh, Fred Armisen, but uh, Benjamin Gibbard. I put the book here. All right, Party of Song. This one as well is a double album originally. Yeah, well. So, and, uh, but, uh, and there again, in comparison, the covers. Yeah, this one wasn't that hot. Either, but okay. You know, actually, that's not that bad compared to this. <clears throat> All right, blow off. 
Blow Off is also his um, uh, like a disco and uh, not disco but club music. So I never had this one. This one, record box set is more like half alternative rock, his noise pop rock, and also his electronical experiments and and uh, club music, etc. It's kind of vinyl. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Ed, good boy. Again, this fresh wood or lumber smell, it's, it's like, oh yeah, stuff. And the last one, Distortion Plus. So the, each box, I believe, box set will have uh, one of these kind of Distortion Plus disc, which has, they collect their rar rarities. So here there are demos and uh, I guess B-sides and stuff. How does that look like? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No splatters, no nothing. Well, hey, um, that's it. I hope you liked it side by side. So I have now these two. And uh, yeah. So please uh, let me know in the comments below um, what you think about Bob Mold. If you have heard, two down, two to go. I wish you all a fucking excellent weekend.